Welcome to this session on the OD Mini Distance Measurement and Displacement Sensor. In this video, we'll go through the basics of mounting and setup and configuration of the sensor for demonstrating and for simple applications. I suggest if you have the sensor, have that out in front of you, as well as the paper insert that comes with the sensor or the demo case. We'll be using that to go through this sensor and how to read and interpret what's on that insert, on that manual and how that applies to this very powerful, this great sensor. So enjoy the video, enjoy the training, learn all you can about this really wonderful sensor, and I'll see you at the end. We're now going to walk through a setup of the OD Mini sensor. And for that, we're going to start by using and utilizing the insert that comes with the sensor as a guide to move through this. So one of the first things we're going to take a look at is mounting the sensor. And that is very important to do. It needs to be mounted very firmly. Uh, the resolution and repeatability of this sensor is very precise. So it needs to be mounted very ruggedly. Simply move the sensor into place and lock down with some sort of clamp or other tool. Next, we wire and power the sensor. For the sake of this demo and testing it, we really just need power and ground, the brown and blue wires, to function and to get it powered up. The outputs, the analog outputs and the switching outputs and the multifunctions can be added and and uh, evaluated separately and we can do that in a separate video but for now just wire it and power it using the power and ground we also need to align the sensor to a target that we're going to be measuring and for that take a look at the sensor and it gives a span of the sensor from a minimum and maximum distance align it so that the target is somewhere in the middle of that range 9999 means you're either too far or too close you're outside of the span as you bring it closer, the numbers will get smaller. You pass through zero and it would be a negative sign. So that zero point is that middle area where we want to start. There are three main ways to set up or parameterize AOD Mini. The first and most simple method that we'll talk about in this video to get it up and running is just using the keypad, using the keypad, the display, and the buttons. And that is going to be called just programming, performing a teach-in using the keys. Other options would be using the multifunction input. And that, as you can see in the insert here, basically uses a in the multifunction wire to send pulses. Let's say from a PLC it would be the only way to be that exact. And to basically do the teach-in and the adjusting, the parameterization, the zeroing, as you can see here, by sending pulses from a PLC. And that can be handled in a separate video. For now, we're going to stick with using the display and the keypad. Some OD minis have an analog output only. Some have an analog output and a switching output. So we're going to take a look at setting this up with a model that has an analog output and a switching output. So we have a couple different modes we can do our switching output. We're going to start with the switching output. We have mode for one point teach. So you just want to know if something is at a certain distance or closer. Give me an output. The other one would be a two-point teach. That's a window mode. So you have a near and a far that you need to teach. And then there's a, a third mode called this OBSB mode. That is object between sensor and background is what the acronym is. And we'll actually handle that in a separate video on advanced functions. One of the first things we should do is reset the sensor back to factory defaults. So we know where we're starting from and to, so we can move forward in a normal manner. To do that, you can see on the second page of the insert, under the run mode, this is more of an advanced setting. At the bottom, we have reset REST. So we're actually going to do that first. Go into REST, REST, hit set, change it to yes, hit set again, and then we can hold the uh, run button to get back to normal run mode. To teach a one point teach, we're going to teach this far setting. So you hit the set button 
it says menu, and that is an M. Obviously, we're limited by the display. It looks like an N, but that would be menu. And then you're going to use the up and down arrow key to change it to the mode, and you're going to set a one point to each for the sake of this video, which brings you then next to the far setting. And you move it to the distance where you want to get a one point teach so anything closer than that distance and you'll get an output and you want to hit the set button hit the run the zero and run button and go back to run mode and from that point forward anything any object that is closer than that taut distance will give you an output change anything further will change the output the other direction and i'm very specific about being whether the output is on or off Really later, we can decide whether we want a active on or active off. That would be like a light operate, dark operate, normally open, normally close, whichever way you want to call it. So what we have seen here is going in, setting up the sensor near the zero point, and going in, making the change uh, for the mode to be the one point teach. And we're going to move it around a little bit. We're just going to find a set point, and we're going to look at that light, that, that amber light at the top left turn on and off i'm just going to find some point here let's okay fifth i guess it's going to be 15.07 and we're going to go in hit the set button to go into menu and we're going to go and change that far setting because we're doing a one point teach so move it to far hit the set button at the distance we want it, it says teach says yep it, it taught it's done i'm going to go back and hit run and i'm going to move it and when i get closer than the taught distance the output turns on I'll put light turns on. And we can change that to be normally open or normally closed or a high or low output on the wire. But that light will always indicate that you are at your top distance or closer. To teach the analog output and to scale it or to set the span, you hit the menu or the uh, set key and it says menu. And use the up and down arrow keys to change what in the menu you want to change. And there's actually a couple different, two different ways to set this up. You can do it by a teach-in. And so that would be actually moving the object to where you want to have your analog output span. And you hit a button, it teaches that in. The other method would be to actually type in a distance and actually set the distance with numeric values. Uh, that would be done if you actually don't want to move targets and hit buttons. You want to actually have repeatable numbers. You want to, let's say, program each device the same way each time. We're going to look right now at the teach-in method. And then we can talk about the, the setting-in method separately. But as you can see in the uh, instructions, basically you just hit set one more time. You go into this enter via value mode. But we're going to set this up using the teach-in mode, the first method shown here. So what we do is we set the sensor to the distance where we would like to set and teach our 420 milliamp output. We hit the set button. It says menu. And now for the single point push button teach in, we hit the down arrow key. This is where we would hit the set again to go into the type in by numbers. So now we set it to the 4 milliamp. We move our target to where we want to have a 4 milliamp output. We hit the set button. It says teach to confirm the teach worked well. Then we hit the button, the plus key to get to 20 milliamp, move the target where we want to have 20 milliamps, hit the set button. It says teach to confirm the teach went well. And then we can hit the back to run, the zero run button to get back into run mode. And that's it. Now we are scaled from 4 milliamp to 20 milliamp. So welcome back. And thank you for going through the training session there on the basics of the OD Mini. I hope you see how powerful uh, the sensor is and how many applications it can be used for and how simple it is to set up and utilize the sensor. So thank you again very much for going through this training. Please look for ongoing training sessions on the OD line as well as our entire breadth of distance measurement sensors. Thank you very much and have a great day.